Wasn't that long ago that we endured one of the coldest Octobers on record in the region, followed by the driest November. Yeah, I remember it and this winter, well, the typically cold and snowy season of 2019 2020 is about to go into the books. But did we really see much winter weather this year? Meteorologist Bree Eggers takes a look back at this season's abnormally warm winter weather in the first of her two part series on our weather extremes. Yep, it's still February. It is still winter, but meteorological winter, the months of December, January and February, it's almost over. No matter how we define winter, these last few months have been abnormally warm across the Treasure Valley. So warm, winter 2019 2020 is making its way into the record books. It's typically a season known for cold and snow, but not this winter. December 22nd when it was 61 degrees in Boise getting that warm that late in the year has only happened two other times on record or how about 48 degrees in McCall just three days before Christmas seems weird for winter right December 2019 finished 5.4 degrees above average in Boise making it the 10th warmest on record since 1940 January, even toastier, 6.2 degrees above average, making it the fifth warmest in almost 80 years of record keeping. Even with temperatures only slightly above average for February so far, this winter is likely to finish as one of the top 10 warmest winters on record for BOI. So warmest, coldest, driest, wettest. It seems like we've been using a lot of extreme wording when describing weather recently. So are these extremes the new normal? Troy Lindquist, a service hydrologist at the National Weather Service in Boise, says that it's those ups and downs that give us our climatological averages, but weather may be trending a little more on the wild side these days. It does seem like over the past decade that we are seeing a little bit more uh you know, these periods of extremes or setting new records. If you remember, back on Thanksgiving, we gave our winter outlook, calling for above average temperatures and above average precipitation. To date, that's held true. But with all of this winter warmth, it may be a bit surprising to hear that Boise's snowfall has been fairly average. We had a couple of tricky commutes, a couple of uses for the old snow shovel, and our winter tally for Boise so far, just over 15 inches. We can stack that up next to the average winter snowfall of just over 19 inches. And look at this. We'll have some snow here in the valley, but I believe it's gonna be right around the range of about 15 to maybe 20 inches total for the year. Boom, nailed it, Mr. Gebert. Forecast verified. And up in the mountains, we're sitting pretty with most of our local snowpack very close to average for this time of year. And that snowpack, a very important get during the winter months so that our reservoirs and streams can give during the dry months of summer. But in the meantime, there is spring, a season that's closely monitored for runoff and flooding concerns. Tomorrow night on the news at 10, I talk with a hydrology expert about the spring weather outlook and what we might be able to expect during the months of March, April and May. Bree Eggers, Idaho's News Channel 7.